Hi, my name is Andy Miller, and I am here with Chris Gibbons. He is the owner and proprietor of the Brass Ring Brewery, planning to open this November. So, Chris, you, uh, you're not a brewer by trade. No. You uh, have done this as a hobby for a little bit, but what, what is it that keeps your days busy? Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an attorney by trade, so predominantly a trial lawyer. I also have a regular problems for regular folks type practice. That's my bread and butter. Cool. So that's what I've been doing for the past 26 years. And to my understanding, you don't live in Alger Heights. I don't live in Alger so, Heights. So why are we here? Why is Alger Heights on your logo? Because the universe wants a brewery in Alger Heights, that's why. And my law partner, Karen Bohr, is a, has been a big supporter. She's kind of, she's been very helpful. Mm -hmm. And uh, she found this place and went up on Sunday and we were in here on Monday. We found out not only is the building totally like workable for what we want to do from our perspective, but that we're also in like a really cool neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we ended up in Alger Heights. And I couldn't be happier to be here. That's and it. I can't wait to open this place up to the Alger Heights neighborhood. I was uh, at the office and Karen said to me, she said, well, why do you want to do this brewery thing? And I'm like, you'll be like the brass ring. I can, I can bring everything I've ever done together, the poetry, the work, the, you know, the, the, the craftsmanship and labor I've done over the years, and all of you know, my book smarts and knowing statutes. Yeah. I can bring all that to bear at one point of focus. It'd be like the brass ring. She goes, that's it. <laughs> Brass Ring Brewing, <laughs> and they say, "Oh, she's it's, 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 it's not trademarked." <laughs> I go, "Grab it!" So. <laughs> so, talk to me a little bit about uh, your vision. That is pretty much, I mean, com completing. You're you're finishing up the the renovation, and you've got the space kind of the way you wanted it. So, what was what was your hopeful for kind of putting this whole thing together? So, the, the, so you know, so it's kind of developed, but the whole idea was to build a very community forward brewery from the very beginning. Okay. Like Style brewery. specific, small batch brewing. Yeah. Community forward, a sharing place. Yeah. You know, place to go if you want to appreciate good beer and appreciate good company. Hmm. This ultimately is, it's more than beer. Right, you're trying to really create a, an experience, a space for people to exactly. come Exactly. And that's, you know, and that's a part, you know, we, we put a, I put a lot of energy and so, my, so the people that help me um, into, you know, putting, putting this place together in a way that's warm and yeah. inviting. And yeah. a place where, you know, my hope is you walk in here and you never want to leave. <laughs> so. You're going to open being a brewery in Grand Rapids. So there's already something to that. Um, but I don't really get the sense that you're looking to be the biggest name in town. No, I'm looking to take care of Alger Heights. You know, that, that, that's, that's, we want to be a community forward brewery. We want to make world-class beer. I think we're gonna, I, I have no doubt, so. Well, Chris, I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me. Um, we're definitely going to be following you as you, as you get open and yeah. uh, on behalf of the entire neighborhood, wish you the best of luck.